I'm here with Kate Richberg today and she's showing us this amazing bracelet that could be a bracelet, a necklace. There are a lot of different ways this can go. There are, and you know, the whole base around this piece, Katie, is using um, Irish wax linen thread. I just love the wax. Number one, you don't have to use a needle with it. It's just stiff enough to just thread the beads right on. And I think it has kind of a nice hand to it. It makes it look a little, I don't know, a little maybe funky, but also a little polished all at the same time. I really love using this wax linen. I agree, I think it has a really cool look. Let's take a look at this piece right here because this is what you're gonna show us how to make. There's multiple ways, depending on how uh, many times you wrap it is how you wear it. So this is our Odyssey project, and I named this colorway Ancient Jade. It's kind of an homage to like the ancient palaces uh, that are filled with jade and brass, and I thought it was uh, gonna take us on a little bit of an exotic journey with this Odyssey. Definitely, in many ways. In many ways, so true. Okay, how should we get started? Well, what we're gonna do, Katie, is we're gonna use this wax linen and we're gonna cut uh, five long strands. And for the bracelet, I cut five long strands that were 72 inches long. Okay. okay. And then I found the center of that 72 inches and I did a little macrame section here. And the macrame is a simple square knot macrame that I just started from the center, worked my way down. And what this is gonna be is the actual loop for your button. Oh. So I, depending on the size of the button that you use, uh, you need to kind of adapt how long this macrame is gonna be. So what I did to check it was, you can see I doubled it over in half like this, and I just check to make sure that my button slides through. Okay. Then I set this up uh, to get ready to kind of close that loop up again with macrame. So I made a little loop again with my uh, nylon beading cord here, and you can see I just did a little closure there, and I'm using this just a simple, you know, um, bead uh, design board, you know, design tray here as my as my working base. Then uh, I'm going to close this up. We need to make sure that it's positioned in the right way so I can get that macrame closure all set. And you're gonna bring all of your strands together. So remember how I cut five strands here? Now when it's doubled over, Katie, I've got 10 working strands here. Right. So I still have my tails left over from my nylon cord, and I've cut maybe about a yard or so of this cord to give myself enough to work with. Okay. And as I bring these together, I'm gonna come in and do a macrame square knot. I'll do this little P side here. I come over that tail and up through the loop, okay? And that forms my first square knot that brings, uh, you know, that brings these two strands together. It's the same knot that I used to create this one here. Okay. Bring it around and you continue to do this macrame square knot until, um, I don't know, and until you're done, really, until you've kind of, you can see on this one, I've just made a little neck right there. Okay. So I don't know, maybe that's four sets of square knots. So you're, you're basically wanting to get a secure binding there at the base of your loop. Exactly. So whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, to get really. There. Yeah, okay. and if you do it in a real contrasting color like I did here, it'll kind of stand out. Or you can match your threads to your wax linen. Doesn't make any difference, whatever works for you. Okay. And then to finish this thread off, Katie, you could just have little dangles. You could put some beads on here, tie a knot and have it dangle. You could use a little bead cement and uh, glue it here and here, let it sit overnight, and then clip those extras away. Okay. Okay. So now we're ready to start on our beaded odyssey, our journey, <laughs> right? And um, if you haven't cut your tails or freed your tails, uh, they're just looped, you can just cut them apart here. And I like having everything nice and even as I work as well. Um, and you'll see why I like that in this next step when I, when I put the button on. But what we're gonna do now is just 
string and we've got 10 strands. So when I choose my beads or my color palette, um, you can see over here, I've used some little cut size eight beads, some little uh, cubes, Japanese uh, seed bead cubes, a little brass hex bead, and then some little O-shaped beads or little washer shapes. And the sky is the limit, really. You could use just a single bead and have it go through, or you could mix it up. Um, so you really, like with any journey, you know, you just start with the first step. And <laughs> right. the first step is, let's tie an overhand knot, which means we make a loop. And when we tighten it, just let that knot start wherever you want it to start. And if I draw my fingers down that, um, that linen, it creates that little self needle. And on this size eight bead that I've got here, it just goes straight through. And the size eight acts like a little stopper bead really, because some of the strands, or rather some of the holes on these other beads are a little bit large and they may jump over the knot in this wax linen. Okay. So that little stopper bead works nicely. So it's good to take a little minute to test, you know, and see if your beads are going to have a whole size that works well with the knot. With the knot, right, so they don't jump, right, over, over that knot. And then here, we're gonna just tie another knot. Now, again, don't be worried about getting this knot perfectly up against that bead. You know, if you see a little bit of that linen there, it's no problem. So you don't need a beading awl no, or anything, tweezers? No, just use your fingers. Make okay. this journey, pack light for this journey. I'm right? thinking this would be easy to do in the car. It would be. It's a great traveling project for sure. And then you can work across or down, whatever works for you. Okay. Nice. But once you've completed all of your strands, and uh, you can see I've got this little sample here, this is where it gets a little tricky. We're gonna add our button. And it's really a great, uh, this waxed linen works so well for getting all of these strands through. I'm gonna give these another little clip there so they're all even. And I'm gonna really bring them nice and tight. Now, if you had a button that had a shank, you'd just slip it all the way through, right? Sure. But with a button that has these holes, it's sometimes a little more difficult. And if you really get them down in there tight with a little bit of patience and perseverance, again, this is where the journey might get a little and sometimes I use my bead all to make the hole bigger. <laughs> yeah, you could, <laughs> right? Or help push them through. But see, they're through there. And now you just make them turn that corner and go back down on their journey. There we go. And uh, you just adjust. Obviously, this is a little bit shorter. This would be great as a bracelet, just a single wrap um, with multiple strands rather than a necklace. But you just need to adjust and figure out how much space um, you you need to leave, and you would just uh, you know measure that against your wrist. Now these extra little strands that are here, after we macrame these in, these can become a fringe or a tassel, like I did in the finished sample, or you can cut them away, whatever works for you. But we end this journey as we've begun with some macrame. Oh, and, okay, you're going to bind it back together mm -hmm, here. Exactly, and so I'll cut, I don't know, maybe about a foot of this nylon thread, and I'll just come in, and I will start that same square knot, that macrame, um, going on that Q side of the loop, and tightening it down, and going on this P side of the loop and tightening it down. And you can start up against the button or down um, or down towards the fringe. It doesn't make much difference. Sometimes that first little knot that you tie gives you a little bit of grief. But you know what? Just be in charge of your knots. Tighten everything up and it'll all work out in the wash. There's that one. And then we'll tighten this one up right there. And then I just continue on to bind everything, uh, bind everything together. Yeah, so as you're creating your sinnet here, the square knot mm -hmm. pattern, it's just binding and holding yeah. and creating some security. But this is so, um, I feel like this is such a creative way to finish. Yeah. Because using these different cords together, 
really makes a big difference. Well, and I think it adds a little touch, I think, of, I don't know, a little designer, dash of designer, you know. Artisanal uh, flair. Right, artisanal <laughs> flair, that's right, my flair. And I also think um, it, it's a handcrafted clasp, so I think it really, um, is correct in the spirit of this piece, right? Maybe putting a fabricated clasp on this wouldn't make it have the same air of mystery, maybe that that a handmade um, that a handmade clasp might. All right. Well, let's take a look at this brown bracelet. Here. Yeah, that also with just the simple cubes, and again that wrap, the the beaded loop that we're doing there. Uh, it's also all in a monochromatic palette. And then you can just wrap it around. Yeah, just, just wrap it, going. wrap it, keep going. All right, well, thank you so much, Kate. Oh, it's my this pleasure. Is a great